Hello, Zaniacs. I am Lainey. Today we're going to talk about The Night Swim by Megan Golden. I received this book from Review of, from NetGalley and I am very excited to talk about it. It is the story of a podcaster and she comes to a very small town to investigate a trial. And the trial is about rape. Now, you think that's kind of heavy, right? So that's when she comes to town to uh, discover more about what is happening in this trial. But on her way there, she gets a letter from a woman who used to live in this town who says that her sister was murdered 25 years ago and she wants help in figuring out how it happened. But everyone in this town says, you know, she committed suicide. It's not, you know, she didn't, she wasn't murdered. So then she starts to take on kind of both of the cases and trying to figure out, did this girl get murdered? Uh, and what was going on with the girl in the court case? Is she telling the truth? Did she really get raped or is she just crying rape? And both of these stories start to mesh themselves together in a really interesting, interesting way. Uh, the reason why they call it the Night Swim is because the girl who died 25 years ago was found to have drowned. So that's why they say either she committed suicide or she just hit her head and drowned. They don't, you know, they don't really think she got murdered. But they also call it the Night Swim because in the present day, uh, the actual rape happens at the beach and there was swimming involved. So there... There's kind of how how one of the ways why it connects and it doesn't give anything away really at all about the book. Is this told like dual perspective again, like past and present? Okay, so the way that this is told is you have the natural narrator, I believe her name is Rachel, uh, her, what she's doing in the present. You have uh, the letter that is written by the sister, her name is Hannah, and as Rachel is reading the letters, she's giving her more and more perspective on what happened to her sister and when you're finding out about uh the podcast itself you get transcripts of what the podcast what she's doing in the podcast so the the present is actually in two different ways but the past is told through this letters that she writes okay. to the podcaster okay so it's, it's not quite like a lot of these that we've seen lately where it's two completely different narrators right. that, are, that are kind of giving you different sides of the same story. Right. And I like that because we've seen a little too much of that lately. Right, yeah. It is kind of a happening thing, but it is a very effective way of, t of, of telling mm -hmm. the story. Um, yeah, this book was like very thriller, very mystery, and yeah, it kept me guessing. I, I did, I got to the end and I was very much like, okay, I have an idea about who I think did it, I have an idea. And I have an idea whether she's telling the truth or not, um, but the way that they inevitably come to those realizations in the book was was very good to me. I mean, I was purely satisfied by the ending of this book. I thought it was, it was, gr it was just a great telling of the story. Cool. Yeah, I gave it four stars. Yeah. Um, not really one I, I would read again, although I might listen to it uh, just because I feel like with the podcast, it would give it a different perspective and auditorily than just reading the book. So there is that. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Do you think you might want to read this, this book? This sounds really interesting, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Right. I, I might be really interested in that because I, I really liked Sadie, which did that whole podcasting yeah. angle. And speaking of which, Courtney Summers is coming out with another book next year. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching this review and until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.